Hi guys, welcome back to this Watch YouTube channel. On this platform, we make sure we keep you updated with the latest happening around the tech industry. Keeping in line with the trend, we will now be discussing about data packets, what are they and how they function and more. So stay tuned. We live in an era where all of us are very much dependent on the internet. Staying connected with the world is made simple thanks to the palm-sized devices called smartphones. High-speed internet connectivity is now the new norm be it on smartphones, laptops, tablets, and even PCs. Over the years, broadband and mobile internet has seen some major developments. Thanks to all the advancements, we are receiving internet speeds that were unimaginable in the past. The efficiency of a Wi-Fi or mobile network depends on the consistency in the transmission of data packets. The loss of data packets while the transmission is something that affects the performance of a network. We bet you might have tried looking out for ways that can help avoiding in packet loss for better network performance. If that's the case, this video will help you with the same. Packets are generally known as the network packets which help in data transmission. These are like small units of data to be transmitted over a network and is the base for all activities you do over the web. From web browsing to downloading any media or files, it's the transmission of packets. The better the transfer of packets, the good network performance is. Similarly, the loss in the data packets during transmission over a network hampers the performance. Multiple factors determine the cause of packet loss. Let's have a look. One of the major factors that affect the performance of a network is the congestion of traffic. Usually, packet transmission is on the pace when there is less load on the traffic. Take for example the number of users in a particular area. If a whole bunch of users are connected to one network, the load on it increases, which eventually hampers the data packets transmission. This is because with less number of users on a network, it is easy to streamline the packets flow. But with an increasing number, it tends to bring along commotion. Another driving factor for the loss in packets transmission is the software and hardware issues in a network connection. For reference, smartphone and tablet manufacturers are quite frequent in releasing updates that allow for good connectivity and also enhance security. Therefore, it is always advised to keep your device updated. Keeping aside the software issues, the data packet loss could also be an outcome of hardware defects. Suppose your broadband modem has some defects, it might experience some issues in transmitting data properly. Not just the modem. The hardware defect can be of any device which is connected to a network or is driving that network. You will need to identify the defected hardware to eliminate further packets loss in the future. The number of devices connected to the same network is also what determines the consistency in the packets flow. The more the number of devices on a single network, the higher is the rate in data loss. This is because the destination for the packets to reach increases, which then leads to drop or lag in the speed. Also, you must have heard of situations where a network is being compromised due to some security attacks. Often, hackers tend to breach into a network disrupting the data packet flow. Therefore, you need to look out for preventive measures that can allow an attacker to compromise your network. You might not always be aware if the security of your network is compromised, but frequent packet drops or network crash could be an indication of the same. To execute an attack, cyber criminal tends to DOS, otherwise called denial of service attack, which prevents the user to access online data. But users always have the provision of blocking such unknown IP addresses using ACL, otherwise called access list. There are several ways with which you can not only prevent the data packet loss, but also enhance the security. You need to keep a tab on the number of devices that are being connected to your network. Any unknown device is likely a presence of any cyber criminal or a hacker. You need to timely update the firmware of the device which are being connected to a network. Restarting the devices might also help as it might drop off any unwanted connection hooked to your network. That's all for now. For more technology related updates, make sure you like, share and subscribe to Gizbot's YouTube channel. This is Sandeep, signing off.